so, um, Muriel Torero, do you know what the uh, Stuart Art Collection is? Tell me about it. <laughs> Man, the, the Chicanos wanted to do uh, something when they found out that there was only 10% of the, 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 the quota for students that hadn't grown in 10 years. So they had a tremendous uh, meetings and, and talk about it and you know, what are we going to do? And he came out, top of the list, to a mural, a mural dedicated to, to our history, to our legacy. And we couldn't, uh, but I knew already that it was impossible to get the UCSD to accept to have a mural done. So that wasn't going to take place. but. I had some. Uh, I had learned some things, some tricks up my sleeve. I don't know about that, but it's just being able to figure out how 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 society works and how they uh, try to stop us from expressing ourselves. From, you know, they're anti-art. It's uh, dangerous, perhaps at times. I mean, you know, can't even think. No, no, not an artist. An artist has to do it. So what we did is that we we asked permission to put a banner. For to, to to commemorate Cesar Chavez Day, and we were going to do some fundraising, car wash, whatever, to 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 get the paint and the banner. And we were going to put a banner up there to 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 show some colors on the wall, and it was only temporary. And the school had heard uh, for for now a couple of years, like La Raza was starting to get really trying to find out what's going on. They wanted some justice, so they were afraid. And they were like nervous about what the heck we're going to ask for here, you know? And so, so we, you just want a banner hang up there for temporary? Yeah. Wow, I mean, don't you want any money? What? We hadn't even thought about money. I said, well, so we went back, talked about it, and I realized that down in LA, they were doing those huge banners on the side of the buildings. Instead of doing the murals, they put this vinyl over it, you know, huge banners. Hmm. I said, man, I never seen that in San Diego. I said, man, this is the time. Let's do a banner. So we did our research and found the company and everything. Boom. Okay, $10,000. Let's do a banner. And we did put a banner up there. And when we unveiled it, it was amazing. Man, probably they thought good things only going to be up there for just a few months. And, uh, and so we said no. We immediately, we, we, the students were getting signed up to do it permanently. You know, it was... It was and the Chick, the Chick Cafe having murals here, it, it, it has inspired, has kept the flame going, has, has given the strength and, and daring of the students really to say, hey, you know, this is all to the side, we need to go in the heart. Because we placed it in the heart of UCSD. Because that's the way I carry my classes. It was a class that I have going, in which I say, okay, let's, let's take out all the obstacles that we have. The money, the permission, even the site, you know, putting us out here on the edge, you know, maybe hidden by the bushes here. No. So let's pretend that we don't have any problems about money and about anything. If we had an opportunity to do a mural here at UCSD, my God, where would you put it, you know? Where is that hot spot? And many people said, put it over here, put it over there, some more timid than others. And when we finally checked it out, that the best place to put it was Peterson Hall. Right at the at the at the crisscross of all the whole school, facing the the, the flying saucer over there, that 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 uh, the, the library, <laughs> and so we couldn't believe it. Seventeen by sixty feet, and then painted. When we know that's not permanent, we want to put a permanent thing up there. Painting, we just discovered that it was just a temporary installation. Murals are temporary installations; they, they fit out, you know. And and then, so so we said. Let's go for it. So it's never been done before, so we said let's do let's do a ceramic mural. And so you know ceramics, we worked on it before, we've seen them, and we were looking, the more we looked, the more we discovered that there is really a technique to fine cut glass mural. Glass is the ultimate. And how do we find it? We were even trying to save money for them. Trying to maybe you can go to the source, Italy. It's too expensive, I mean millions perhaps. But then Mexico had picked up on it, but their, 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 the whole thing had died when the art was cut off. So they didn't have buyers. But the ones that were picking up at that time were the Chinese. So we did our research, connected with a collective of Chinese artists, 
and and uh, considering the fact that we were very also aware and concerned about fair trade, about fair treatment to the to the workers, and and, and this thing about China being repressive, communist, you know, it, most of it is, is a lot of smoke, you know. The reality was that this artist had gotten together and they had been doing enough for a few years and they were really great and the price was right. Uh, and so and so that's how it worked out. So we did it like that. And uh, but more than that, we have a connection with the with the Chinese students, the artists, to continue this kind of uh, exchange. And we hope to now to do another one at San Diego State. We're working on that right now. An old Chicano mural that had destroyed without telling me, you know, the new Aztec Center. So we were ready for for confrontation. But they got a brand new uh, director to to San Diego State that wanted to bring the arts in it. So it worked out. So. I'm going to be starting a class there in the fall, a special class on, on street art. Mm -hmm. So you had a class here with um, students, and you also uh, went to, you met with... Uh, Doing the legacy meet, for the legacy meet. Yeah. yeah, you met yeah. with Metcha? that class was improvised by myself. It was, it was like I carry on a class here, not because UCSD had me do a class or anything. I just did it on my own. And, uh, and I brought community, took them down, and... And brought children painted the, the original maquette, you know, from Barrio Logan. I have it already. So we did a painting of the first, 12 footer, 2 by 12 feet. Oh, wow. And, and that we transferred onto the wall. So where did you meet? We, we, here we would meet, uh, we met in, in, in front of the wall at uh, Chicano Studies. Uh, Jorge Marisca would supply the classes, I mean, all around here and also in the barrio. Because this was an outreach, it was to us. It's not just here. We, this is the region. You know, all of us are from everywhere, and we come together. From we have, we don't see a border. You know, it's all one area. We call it the region. When, when was the Peterson Hall? Yeah. It was. It was uh, unveiled in 2011. Peterson. Yeah, and we did a movie of it, and it won an award, at some film festival. And it was an inspiration to really prepare ourselves when we did the 2012 renovation of Chicano Park with the same company, uh, my friend uh, Cinema Viva. And that one was also nominated for an award for this year for the San Diego Film Festival. So I'm getting into documentation, which is important because Chicanos don't have much of the documentation. And if it is so spread out, we're looking at a, a getting a library going. And, it's important to document these things because it's history, and if we don't document them, it's almost like they didn't happen. Especially if they come and erase our murals. So the murals have to be preserved, and there are ways to preserve that, and primarily by care. You know, and that, that has been left over. So, so we're planning to have a reunion of those same artists, perhaps, that worked on those days, and the new generations have a, a tremendous party here to, to, show, to show San Diego that we are still alive, and with a brand new face.